Greenwood County was also hit very hard, and that's where we find 7 News's Chloe Salsameda. She joins us live with more on the damage there. Chloe? <laughs> Yeah, we are on Deadfall Road East, which experienced some of the worst damage in this area. Now, trees fell on top of two houses, including this one right behind me. As you can see, the trees completely cover the entrance of the home and are even on the roof. Now, crews tell us they'll be here for the next few days as they work to clear out the area. Fallen branches and uprooted trees line Deadfall Road East. Crews were busy fixing power lines that came down when the storm passed through. We were down to the last about 150 homes that were still without power, so they were out working pretty hard all night. The county's emergency services director says they received about 20 calls Thursday night, but some of the worst damage was on this street. We had two homes that were pretty much condemned this morning by the emergency manager. Um, we had a few trees fall through them. But Those houses were barely visible from the road. The fallen pine trees completely covered their front yards. A lot of these trees are probably anywhere to 32 to 36 inches in diameter. Uh, a lot of weight. And whatever they hit, they're going to destroy. And that's just what those trees did. The county has condemned both homes because of the damage. It's got one big pine across the center of the, of the house. Over on the back side uh, is two big pines that kind of lay across the back and, and not the back section of the house completely to the ground. The emergency services director says one of the houses was empty when the trees fell. The other had five people inside. It was a blessing that no one was hurt with the damage that the, the, the homes took. The Red Cross tells us it's helping the family find food, water, and shelter since they can't return home. Meanwhile, the cleanup at their home is just beginning. With removing all stumps, uh, trees, and, and there's a lot of on the backside. So it'll probably take us at least four or five days. Now, crews will be working along this street over the next few days, so they ask if you do drive by, you just be careful. Live in Greenwood County, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News.